Got to make contact with three cushions well. It's gone wrong immediately. It's hit the red. Got to hit the three cushions first, of course, before making contact. Second attempt. Got to hit the short cushion twice. In between times, make contact with the long cushion. And then hit the red. That's for nine points. Now, this looks better. Yes, for There's the second the point. contact with the short cushion and the contact and with the red as well. So he maintains that 11 point lead that he's held now for three shots. Shot number seven. And there's only four shots left. Yeah, man. Could be in big trouble if he doesn't make this one. The figure. Q ball hits the second ball, then the long cushion, the short cushion, and the long cushion before touching the red ball for five points. Five points then. Yeah, man. First attempt. Up for grabs here. Follow draw over three cushions. Well, you'll see here that he didn't hit the three cushions. Second attempt. This is another one of those intricate little shots. Nope. Although. Worth five points. That's the lowest available, so it's judged to be one of the easier shots. But your man has now missed it twice. He's only got one more attempt, attempt to come to eat into the deficit, which at the moment stands at 11 points. He can reduce it to six here. No. Nope. But he hasn't done so, and yeah, that, that means that Fonalosa no coming to the table can extend his lead to 16 points with just three shots left. So he will become a huge favourite to win this World Championship Fonalosa. if he could make this shot. First attempt. He's got three attempts. Into the object ball. Off the side cushion. Off the back cushion. Back onto the side cushion. And then into the red. No. No, no. Well, the crowd thought he made it. But in fact, well, eagle eyed referee caught the red. Coming back Second towards attempt. the back cushion. Referee just clarifying that for the audience. So that's a foul shot. Two more attempts to come. To lead by 16 with three shots left. Complete miscue. <laughs> well, it's so easy to happen. He's uh, managed to jump over the object ball. So there's hope for your man of Turkey. Third and last attempt. He'll still be 11 behind if Fonalosa fails to make the shot at his third and last attempt. No. And again, he's caught the red coming Fonalosa. back towards the back no cushion, points. so nothing scored for either player. Something of a let off for Hassi Harap, your man of Turkey. As Javier Fonalosa of Spain is a fails to make contact. Limit. Has to be played like this. Cue ball on the second ball. The cue ball has to pass around the limit, maybe touching the short cushion and then the red ball for eight points. Yeah, you can come off the cushion or in yeah, directly into the red, but the key thing is to come round that limit, that pin that's placed on the table. It's worth eight points, points that your man requires here. Three shots left, including this one in the world final, and he's 11 points behind. No. And he's fouled on the first attempt. I think whatever happens, he's got to make the shot. Even if uh, Fonalosa himself doesn't, he'll still be attempt. deep in trouble, will your man, with just two shots left, 11 behind. He's got to make it. He's got two attempts left. Round the pin. Yes. yes. Well, he's done it. So all he can do now is hope that Fonalosa somehow slips up. Eight points. Coming around that limit. Can come off the cushion here, which he did do. Key thing is he hit the red as well. So that makes it 38-35 to Fonalosa, who's now comes to the table. First attempt. Looking to maintain his lead of 11. If he doesn't make contact, though, it will be just three and will be set fair for a really thrilling finish with just two shots left. It's all ifs and buts. All eyes on Fonalosa. No. 
My word, that was close. Got round that limit. And you see the ball coming back, but uh, just failed to catch the red. Second attempt. No. Well, he's knocked the limit over. So one more attempt. What a big moment in this final. It's two sets all. He leads by three. If he makes the shot, he'll be leading by 11 with just two shots left. If he doesn't, know, that three-point lead will stand. His opponent is looking away. No. Well, if he looks back, he will see that Fonalosa has failed again. He's failed on all three attempts. So it's 38-35 with just two shots left. And you can sense the drama in the hall. Shot the audience are is a well aware shot. this could go either way now as we move on to shot nine. Explanation of the figure. Cue ball touches the shot cushion. Then the, the second ball. One time the long cushion. Two times the long cushion. Short cushion and then the red ball for seven points yeah man there you see seven points attempt. four cushions have got to be hit all together this is a follow shot you see that uh, your man is hitting above center yes for cushion oh. and the point. And what about that first time out he makes contact so he's now gone into the lead now it might be a temporary lead but he is in the lead so psychologically Fonalosa coming to the table under pressure 42-38 down. First attempt. Well, he was ahead by 11. And it could have been 16. Now he's four behind in just a couple of shots. Well, the ball has gone off the table. That's a foul. He's a man under pressure, all right. There you see. Well, for a moment it looked like it'd stay on, but it flew off. Your man. So I'm sure he's tense as well in his chair, but it's all down to the man at the table, Javier Fonalosa. He's won this world title twice. But uh, it's up for grabs here in 2008. And already he knows that's gone wrong. Yeah, it really is up for grabs, isn't it? Four points in it. Your man ahead, but if Fonalosa does make the shot at his third attempt, he'll be three ahead with one shot left, which is worth ten points. There his wife and children. Well, one of his sons can't bear to watch. So nerve-wracking looking on. They look a bit glum, and they'll sure, be attempt. looking even more glum, I suspect. If Fonalosa does not make contact here, he's behind now by four points, but if he makes the shot, he'll be ahead by three. No. It's gone wrong. Fonalosa. It's all gone wrong for him. It could have been 16 no points. points ahead a short while ago. He's now four points behind. There's one shot to come in this World Championship final. It's going shot to be worth ten, ten points. And if your man makes it... Over then uh, mathematically questions. Fonalosa cannot win and he knows that could have been his last shot his of the world final. As follow. Cue ball on the second ball behind the limit uh, uh, long cushion short cushion long cushion and to the red ball for 10 points. So to repeat if your man makes the shot it's all over because he'll be 14 ahead and of course Fonalosa will not yeah, be able man. to First make up that it. deficit. So this for victory. Yeah. Well, already he's celebrating, and that's why. <laughs> well, what a turnaround it was, and what a great victory. The first Turkish player to win this World Championship of Artistic Billiards.
and he deserves to celebrate. It was a great win. He was two sets up, lost the next two. Fonalosa went ahead in the decider, but it's your man who nails that shot first time out, 52-38. He wins the fifth and final set by 14 points, and he is the world champion of 2008. And he knew he'd made this. He was celebrating before he'd barely even touched the cue ball. And his fans were on their feet as well. Fonalosa gracious in defeat. He's won the world title twice before. Pointed, of course, to make it a hat-trick. But it's the man from Turkey. It's Hassi Harap, your man, who is the world artistic billiards champion here in Belgium for 2008. Fine victory it was too. And it's been a real display, hasn't it, of quality cue ball control from these wizards of artistic billiards. Bad luck to Fonalosa, but well done to Hassi Harap, your man. He's our world champion for 2008. Hope you've enjoyed what's been a fascinating battle here in Belgium. We send our congratulations to the winner. We thank you for your company. From me, David Hendon, it's goodbye.